Newly published study proves watching television dumbs down young children. This is a recent study published by Nature.com. And the conclusion was this, that watching television for young people increases in total television time at 29 months were associated with subsequent decreases in vocabulary and math skills. Classroom engagement, which is log largely determined by attention skills, victimization by classmates and physical prowess at kindergarten. So this study found that uh, all those spheres, maths, vocabulary, even physical prowess, was negatively impacted by watching television at 29 months of age for these toddlers and young children. And of course, that correlates with something we reported a few weeks back which was the uh, report out of Yahoo, which showed that IQ in Western nations has dropped by a staggering 14.1 points over the course of the last 100 years. And of course, television has undoubtedly played its part in that dumbing down process, which segues into our next story. Newly discovered eighth grade exam from 1912 shows how dumbed down America has become. And... When I first saw this story, I was skeptical because there was a heated debate about a similar story back from a couple of years ago about an eighth grade test from 1895, which was used to make the same point about dumbing down in schools. But many claim that was inaccurate because the test was actually directed at teachers and not students. It was hastily debunked. This one cannot easily be debunked, and it's quite shocking to say the least. It was an eighth grade test conducted by Bullitt County School District in 1912. And in this article, uh, which is on Infowars.com from Michael Snyder, he links to the Bullitt County History website, which has a copy of the original test. Now, listen to a couple of these questions and ask yourself how an eighth grader in 2013 would fare in this exam. One of the questions is, how many parts of speech are there? Define each. Another question is, locate the following countries which border each other, Turkey, Greece, Serbia, Montenegro, Romania. So <laughs> this 12th grade test, and these are just two of the questions, there's literally dozens and dozens of them, talking about advanced geographical knowledge. 37% of Americans in 2013 can't even locate America on a world map. And we're talking about adults. This was aimed at uh, eighth graders, and they're talking about identifying Serbia and Montenegro on a map. They're talking about defining all the different parts of speech, talking about mathematical equations and sums that are just mind-bogglingly difficult, uh, even for adults nowadays, and yet they were being aimed at children uh, back in 1912. And, you know, the, the counter-argument that always comes out when these kind of stories emerge is that you know, these students were specifically studying to answer these questions at the time. So they'd be well versed in the material. Uh, they'd be they'd be completely prepared for the exam, whereas just reading it fresh today, we, we're not prepared for any of it. But it doesn't really wash with me. You know, I remember taking exams 17, 18 years ago when I, I was at a similar educational level. There's no way they were anywhere near this level of difficulty. And as we mentioned, the IQ, it's confirmed, has dropped 14.1 points. This is the deliberate dumbing down program that Charlotte Isby has exposed many times on InfoWars. It's about changing education from exalting the best and the brightest to dragging everyone down to the lowest common denominator. You know, the exams have been made so easy nowadays that they have to do it because people wouldn't pass them. Kids are nowhere near as smart as they were 100 years ago, despite all our ac access to information at the click of a button. They're being dumbed down, and they're making the test easier to ensure that people pass them. And it's all deliberate, because education now, whatever you believe it started as, isn't about teaching young people how to think. It's about teaching them how to regurgitate. And looking at this test from 1912 only bolsters that point. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV.
More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at infowars.com slash show.